Hello everybody, welcome to WebD 164, which is Introduction to JavaScript. I'm your instructor, Chris Secor. Um, I'm a faculty member here, the a full-time faculty member for Web, so um, I'm here for you uh, in more ways than just this course. If you need help with your scheduling, feel free to reach out to me. Um, right now, this video is going to be going over the course, how it's going to be laid out, and what we're going to be doing for eight weeks and where you can reach out for help. So um, I am on the home page of our section. I'm going to go log into student view so we get the same view that you would get. And the course is laid out like so. Uh, at the top here we have student orientation and tutorials. And the purpose of this is to uh, allow you to get tutorials on Canvas in case you're not familiar with it. Um, there's also important resources for students, um, maps of the school, uh, where you can go to, to drop a class or add a class, things like that. So feel free to reach out in these links, and if there's something here that isn't helping you, just you feel free to contact me. Anyway, below that, I've separated all the weeks into modules, so the materials are up for the entire course. Um, in this course, you'll have homework every week. You will have uh, six quizzes that you can take as many times as you wish, and the only deadlines are that you get them done by the end of the quarter. So those are opportunities to get your grade uh, way up. But as we go through, each week will be laid out like so. Here you see in week one, I have everything we're going over. And when I hit the back button here, we can go through. And then I have reading for this week, which we'll go over in a second. It's from the Mirac book. And um, I'll be putting, there's several editions out there. So I want to make sure that no matter what edition you get, you read the appropriate sections. So um, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, I do have an electronic version of the, uh, the second version and the third version. Uh, the third version is the one we want. Um, anyway, this is it's a very large book, um, but we don't cover the entire book. Uh, I'll be covering some of the pages at the end, but one thing I'd like to point out is that the book has excellent um, source files for you uh, to help you work through the problems and help you uh, test things. So anyway, um, after the reading and the lessons for the week, the plan, uh, we go into lecture mode. So this is a, a video. Most of my videos are on YouTube. So this is an overview of web development, week one lecture. Then we get into syntax and positioning, fun with variables, variables, conditions, and loops. And then I have um, some materials in here of just code that you can work with. Uh, for example, the week one materials here, if I download it, it's week one dot zip just to give you an idea of what is out there and inside here you will see i have one variable two variable and three variable all variable uh examples and for the course i use sublime which you're looking at right here and they're very simple scripts so what i recommend is that you work with this and then view the page in a browser so something like um three string variable i would look at it in a browser and you'll see that as we go through with the videos. But this is just an overview of how it's going to work. And when I go back home and I go back to my modules, you'll see that uh, at the bottom here, I have the quiz for the week. And again, that's not due till March 28th. Then I have the first assignment. So the assignments will be due at the end of each week. So this one will be due on February 10th, uh, seeing that the week starts on February 3rd. So the idea is to get the homework done by the uh, end of the week before the next week starts. So that is a due date. Now, my lateness policy, which is in the syllabus, uh, is that I accept uh, late assignments, one point off per day, up until a week and after that week I no longer accept it so that's because it is such a short eight-week course um, keep in mind this is traditionally a 16-week course and we're basically doubling up so the week one materials has uh, twice as many uh, um, examples inside the the week for you to look at so when you see these things these are my screencast video lectures the, the little links here and then when you see the paperclip those are that's just source code, okay? 
So you're going to see a lot of videos coupled with source code and you're recommended to do the reading, um, play around with the code, break it, fix it, follow my videos exactly. And again, you'll have seven assignments in one final project. And that final project will be a, uh, uh, basically a, an example that you've mastered uh, what was taught. Um, so the quizzes are, are Again, they're not due till the end. Feel free to take them at the end if you wish. But once the course stops on March 28th, I have to um, I have to stop accepting uh, assignments because if you want to sign up for the second half of the semester where we have more eight week classes, I have to have everything graded before you start that next course. Hope that's understandable. Now I'm going to go to the syllabus. Now we'll take a quick look at it, and you see that um, it is an eight week course. It's three units. Um, my office hours, by the way, are in G324. It's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 1 to 3. Um, if you are coming in, I recommend you email me at ksecor at sdccd.edu, and I'll make sure that I don't wander off because I tend to do that. Um, I, I'm working on a, a few uh, initiatives with the, with the program that take me away from my office, but if, you, if I know you're coming, I'll be back, and we can arrange to meet. Now, one thing I'd like to bring up, too, is that this course, if you've never coded before, can be very challenging. So what I'm recommending is that if you have any problems at all, email me at this email address and I'll make you a screencast. And let me just show you what that is. So what I do is I'll do screencasts um, that um, basically are private for you and me only. And this is an example of one here where um, I'm teaching... Uh, one student. Hey, Jesse. This is. Let me. Uh, I'll go to the the middle of the video. But the I'm pictures work. I'm teaching one student um, who's never coded a web page before. So this is an entry to HTML course, and I'm going through their code and fixing it. Uh, so that's a great way to get help. Um, the students who don't take me up on that offer tend to um, have less persistence. They tend to not. Um, get as, as high a grade. But if you need help and you reach out to me, I will do either a Google Hangout with you where we can do one-on-one -on -one chats or the screencast, which I think is very effective because you can pause uh, me when I teach you. So please, please reach out to me if you need any help at all. So um, as we scroll through, this is going to be a practical study of JavaScript and jQuery. And what we're going to be doing is working through visual problems. There will be basics of programming taught, but also visual problems that deal with the browser because that's what uh, that's what JavaScript does. Now, if we look at the important dates for deadlines, we're going to start the semester February 3rd. Uh, February 11th is an important day. You can get your refund, your money back, um, or you can uh, drop the class, add new classes, whatever you'd like. Now, if you're struggling in the class, I would recommend you see me first, um, and we can work on ways to get you not struggling. But the last day to petition for a pass no pass grade option is February 21st. And the last day to withdraw is, to, to withdraw is March 6th. And the last day to uh, finish all work is Saturday, March 28th uh, by midnight that night. So our textbook is Murex JavaScript and jQuery. I think it's pretty good. It's, uh, it's 2017, so not much has changed in that respect since then. Um, uh, the topics that we're going to be going through. Let me go over that real quick because if you're familiar with our program, we really kind of were converting a little bit into a front-end development program with the advocate of adding our React course. Um, but you, the reason you see these two topics are because we're bunching up two weeks into one. So you're going to see like this would be week two. This is week three. Actually, this is week two right here. This is week three. I should, I'll add some borders on this. But uh, all the topics, by the time we get to the end, in week eight, we'll be covering ES6 and best practices. And then we'll cover intro to React, and that could lead you into the next uh, um, course, if you so desire. So let's go back and just with this overview of this course, I want to show you what's asked for you in week one. Oops, excuse me. I'm going back to 164 here. And so there's an overview of web development. I want you to understand syntax. 
variables, conditions, and loops if you can get that far. And again, the quiz is self-explanatory. You can take it as many times as you want, so it wouldn't hurt to take it and see what's being taught. And then there's a window object one assignment. So that is the assignment for this week, and that's the course. Uh, please reach out to me if you need anything. Um, if you have questions about how this fits into your overall curriculum, uh, please let me know.